guys, what's up? It's me, Coach JC. How you doing? Today's video is the power of confidence. I wanted to share a little bit with everybody about the power of confidence. The power of confidence is the best way to pick up a woman. How I exuded confidence in approaching them. I had no fear at all. Um, and I'll tell you why I had no fear at all. Because if you're a single guy and you're looking to approach a, a woman that you don't even know yet or maybe is in your orbit, you have nothing to lose. All that they could say is no and you're in the exact same place that you were before you asked them. So what are you really worried about? Men, we have to play numbers. We have to ask out multiple women. We can't just be fixated on one and be like, oh, she's going to be my girl and we're going to live happily ever after. You better hope that that girl likes you back because as a man, I don't care how attractive you are, how um, wealthy you are, how fit you are, what car you drive, what house you own, none of that matters with women, I'll be honest. A lot of guys that have confidence that don't have any of those things still end up with eight, nines, and tens on the, the scale of beauty and, and quality of women. And you could see guys that have all those things, nice cars, great careers, they have all this nice stuff, but you know what? They don't have confidence and they don't know and understand women. Um, a lot of guys can not understand women and get dumped or not get a chance or, you know, there's a lot of guys that are way high profile guys that have their shit together that are like Superman with kryptonite in a beautiful woman's hand, meaning that they're strong in every single avenue of their life and their careers, build homes, they they drive badass cars, completely having all this stuff that everyone's jealous of, but yet they can't nail down the right woman, okay? They could keep trying and going through them and maybe it's a, a flaw with their character or maybe they're just not listening to the ways to understand a woman, which is making her heard and understood. You know, um, if you don't understand and listen to a woman's feelings and her emotions, she's gonna kick you to the curb, man, I swear. So I've always been great at picking up women and getting them in relationships with me. You know, I have a lot going for me. They're in the whole honeymoon stage the first couple years. They're all about you. They're having sex. They'll cater to your needs. It's, you know, they're just the sweetest creatures in the world. And you're like, I have it made. And then all of a sudden what happens is you'll start to become complacent. And when you start to become complacent, you could have a, a naked hot chick walking around your room that you've slept with so many times. And you're like, that's my girl. She's not going anywhere. I just want to stay at home and have sex with her all night. That'll fuck you, man. So trust me when I tell you, these are the things I want to share with you all is that confidence level of not catering to someone else for your happiness, meaning that you have to have the mindset of to where I rule, you're along for the ride, and you could lose me any minute. And you keep them chasing you, and that's gonna utilize that to your advantage. But to get these women, and that's what this video is mainly about, is to have confidence because there's nothing's gonna happen without confidence. Um, they're not gonna be attracted to you if you're all down on yourself, like, hi, would you go out with me or something? It's like, come on, dude. You have to be like, whoa, you're smoking. What's your name? Let's go hang out sometime, you know, stuff like that. And they're gonna be like, wow, that guy, he's really, really um, aggressive and goes with what he wants. And that's another attractive thing with women is knowing that you have that confidence to just, you don't give a shit if she says yeah, you don't give a shit if she says no. You're just like going for what you want. And like, let's say a girl says yes, and fast forward, boom, all of a sudden, you're dating, it gets serious, you start living together, a couple years blow by, and then you end up looking back and going, wow, look at everything that happened with just that one amount of confidence that I had at the very beginning when I approached this woman. Boom, all that shit just happened. Now imagine none of that happened and you never met that girl. Would you have been all hung up on that one girl because she said no? No. You would have just kept going and just asking out the next one and the next one until you find one that you know they're hot because you don't, you do not ask out ugly women. You ask out eights, nines, and tens, and you're confident, and you know you rule. You can't think you suck, because think of how far you get if you think you suck. 
you wouldn't get far at all. You have to know you rule. And when you know you rule, it just comes out of you. And all the women around feel it. Um, it's an alpha male trait to where when you walk in a room, you dominate it because you know you're awesome and you know you're great and you know you're the fucking prize and you have shit to offer. And if these chicks don't bite on the hook, then you'll just fish in another pond and it's just that simple. So keep in mind, confidence is the key. This is a nice short video just as inspiration to any of you guys out there that just don't have the nerve to ask out beautiful women and do not have that confidence. Trust me when I tell you I have women of my dreams, nines and tens, that has specifically told me that that's one of the key reasons on why they went for me in the beginning is because of my confidence. And that's how I want you to be. I want you to experience what I've experienced and find that woman of your dreams. Find your dream woman. Find a place in your life for her to where you can not become complacent, remain confident, court her properly, understand and listen to her feelings, and keep being great with them, okay? Send me an email regarding your situation, and I will respond to you and help you out as best as I can. The first one's on me. If you like my coaching, then we can do private coaching sessions, and we'll take that after your first email, okay? So coachjc at gmail.com. Shoot me that email. I'm waiting for you. I'm here for you, and I will be your wingman. You got this.